you will see your names there um, under in OneDrive I've sent you a link so in your email you'll see a link that link will open this folder now you find your name for example the first one there is Alicia Anna and Lillian the three of you are in a group so what you want to do is open that document so once you open that that's this one so this is for just Alicia Anna and um, and Lillian what you're gonna do then is you can come down here where um, the temperature stuff is you can put your height whatever it was five Make sure your units are correct, it's millimeters. So it would have been 50 millimeters if it was 5 centimeters. Okay? Put all your data there. That's in potato, so don't forget about the liver one. So once you put all your data in, observations, answers to those questions, what you do then is you come back to the, once you save it, it will save in that OneDrive location. Now look here, this is the important part. When you want to share this with me in your actual report, you go to share on OneDrive there with that OneDrive symbol. You right click, then hit share. It will come up with this little pop-up box and ask you who you want to share with. Share it with. Don't write my name. All you do is that copy link at the bottom. It will create the link and it's copied it. Now that link, you go to your original report where you're doing your work. Under original experiment, you'll just paste that link there. And so when I'm marking your work, if I want to see your original experiment, you don't lose word count. At the same time, it's just a nice small link there. So what I will get basically, what I mean you put that is under the original experiment after research question, the methodology used has been adapted from, put that link. Explain the method underneath it, and that's all you need for that section. Any questions?